Hey everybody, welcome to another video, and this time, it's going to be me and my wife who went to Dollar Tree, and we bought some, some things for my little cousin's demons, or her children, it just depends on how you want to phrase it, well mainly it's for her older one, because her younger one's just like a year though, I guess she could chew on some of it or something, play with some of it I guess, so we're going to start with that portion of what we bought. So, let me, let me get get that closer to me. So, pony. But yeah, take off the tag, I know. We're, we're, believe me, me or her mom will do it. Comes with a little brush, not that we care. It just comes with a pony. Oh, oh, things are falling, I'm sorry. And then, it's head turned, you know. Cool, it's a pony. She likes, she likes animals. I know that much. Um, it's a little, and a little Ryan Guard thing for blowing bubbles. So, and she loves Lion Guard. I remember that much. That's one thing I do remember. So, you know, why not get her a bubble thing with Lion Guard? Because she likes bubbles. So, bubbles. And another pony, the purple edition. Whose head also turns, obviously. Purple Pony is judging you. Just letting you know. Actually, I think it's judging YouTube more. We're cutting off ad revenue if you don't have 10,000 views. Yeah, we got books. Paint with water. As so by magic. Simple water turns the pictures into in this book. To bright into bright and vibrant colors with no mess of mixing colors. These books are perfect for travel and rainy days. So grab a paintbrush and a cup of water and let the magic begin. Once you've created your masterpiece, hang it on the wall for all to see. It's not messy. That's all I need to know. Except for water, but and then there's this coloring and activity book. Which, okay, she probably ain't going to do the activities, really, but hey. Oh, sorry, I hit my mic. Coloring, yay. With animals. That's why I picked it. It had animals. I know she likes animals. And, of course, got to get the gigantic thing of bubbles to go with that bubble thing. Got to have the bubbles. Which, we were going to get a smaller one, but then I saw this big one. I was like, uh, no, this is a dollar two. Well, let's get the ginormous one. That's all we got for her because I don't know what she wants. She's two years old. I mean, I know she likes animals, so and line guard. So I did. I did what I could. Once she gets older and I get her into reading all the books, this will be way easier for me. Believe me. So much easier. So now into the random things I found at Dollar Tree for me. My wife who bought them, though. So I'm broke. YouTube won't pay me because I don't have 10,000 views, but all my videos are still monetized. So, I guess YouTube's taking what I would have got. I don't know. So, even then, I wouldn't be making much money. I'd get $100 in, like, 10 years or something, which is fine, you know. I'm not doing this specifically for money, but I wouldn't mind money. You know what I mean? I would love to be able to do YouTube as at least a part-time job. You know, make enough money for it to be worth doing it. But, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm, from now on, I'm just doing, hey, I went to Dollar Tree anyway. Let me show you what I got. Instead of buying specifically cards that, like Magic the Gathering cards I shouldn't buy. That don't have much money. To show off on the channel. Like that fat pack. Anyway, um, cheapo sketchbook, medium weight, acid free, you know, I mean, for a dollar, I mean, come on, even if it is, oh yeah, even if it is bad, who cares, and some stickers, we split those, the Avengers are awesome, don't try to convince me otherwise, just, just stating up front, I'll put this here for right now because that's a sketchbook. I do like I do like doodling sketching, but I don't do it often because I'm horrible at it. 
but I need to do it more often. So, you know, it'd be fun. Then, we got my coloring book. Day of the Dead Advanced Coloring Book. Immerse yourself with over 30 coloring pages inspired by Mexico's uniquely famous holiday, the Day of the Dead. Relax at the end of the day by coloring marvelous illustrations of sugar skulls, decorative flowers, quirky skeletons, and other decorative patterns to spark your imagination. Break out those colored pencils and markers to awaken your inner artist. I almost want to say inner goddess. Don't. Okay, I'm going to find a sugar skull because, okay, there, there. See, this is the type of adult coloring I like, only because it's not ungodly complicated with, like, five different areas to color, like some of them are. I mean, okay, I mean, it could, you know what I mean? Because I don't like really complicated ones. I mean, I'm not like this. This, this is the one I kind of wouldn't like. But it's skull, so it's a little bit more motivation for me to color it. I never said I was normal. And then, here's the part that proves I'm not normal. Moana! Activity book! Word search! Oh, the word searches. I like doing these sometimes. And it's Moana, which I just recently watched on Netflix and I love it. I keep listening to that one song. How Far I'll Go, I think it's called. Yeah, anyway. Okay, let's see what else is in this bag. I'm digging it out because... Two things I kind of want to group together. But uh, apparently they're not in the same bag. Oh god, that was a horrible hiccup. I'm sorry. That was horrible. But, you know, it's hard for me to turn up $1 books when they don't sound completely horrible. And this one is... The most powerful practitioner of these myster mysterious arts is Rav His... He's the daughter. It's about demons and stuff. Okay. Um, daughter is the duke or something. Whose innate awareness allows her to possess the skills men lack. With her husband, Rava, whose arcane knowledge of the secret Torah enables him to create a man out of earth and to resurrect another rabbi from death, she braves an evil sorceress, Ashmedai, the demon king, and even the angel of death in their cat... Ca quest to safeguard their people, even while putting their romance at risk. The author of the acclaimed Rasha's Daughter series and the award-winning Rav Hista's Daughter book one apprentice has conjured, conjured literary magic in the land where Abracadabra originated. Based on five years of research and populated with characters from the Talmud, Enchantress brings a pivotal area, era of Jewish and Christian history to life from the perspective of a courageous and passionate woman. Ooh. I mean, for a dollar, it sounds pretty good, especially considering the original price was 17 Do you see this? $17. $17. I'm sorry, I'm not paying 17 for a paperback. You crazy. Maybe a max of 12 depending on how long it is and who wrote it. Our next book, I, I got another book. I mainly bought it because... Um, my wife who found a book that was written by Sultan Thor and Loki's Wolves. I couldn't help it. So, here we go. Reading the inside. Matt hears the words, but he can't believe them. He's Thor's representative? Destined to fight trolls, monstrous wolves, and great giant serpents. Or the world ends? He's only 13. Although Matt has known he is a modern day of descendant of Thor, he's always lived a normal kid's life. In fact, most people in the small town of Blackwell, South Dakota, are direct descendants of either Thor or Loki, including Matt's classmates, Finn and Laurie Breck. No big deal. But now the end of the world is coming, and it's up to the champions to fight in the place of the long-dead gods. Matt's, Laurie's, and Finn's lives will never be the same as they race to put together an unstoppable team, find Thor's hammer and shield, and prevent the world from ending. In their middle-grade debut, K.L. Armstrong and M.A. Marr begin the epic Blackwell Pages series with this action-packed adventure filled with larger-than-life legends, gripping battles, and an engaging cast of characters who bring the myths to life. It's a dollar, so... And it's a hardback, so... Let's see. The price... The only price I can see 
Let's make sure there's one not on the inside. Original price, $17, just like on the back of the book. I'm not paying some. Well, 17 ain't that bad for a hardback, except for I have never heard of these people. And I don't know if this is good at all. But, you know, for a dollar, I'll take my chances, you know? I don't know about you, but for a dollar, for a dollar, I will take my chances. Let's see. Got a water bottle. Nice green one. I need to get back to walking. I need to stop being a fat piece of fat lard, you know? So, yeah. Now, will I ever actually do it? Who knows? I'm just getting stuff out of the bag. Decide what to show next. I don't know. You see none of this. You see Glad we got that set. Alright, is the rest of the snacks I get from my wife? Yes. Yes, it is. Good. Okay! We got what I'd like to call my whore makeup. Because it's really shiny. Or trashy makeup? I don't know. Either way. Shiny. I'm sorry. I had. It just. It called to me because it was shiny. I'm sorry. I have a thing for shiny. If you haven't watched my Magic the Gathering videos, I have a thing for shiny. I also got a little brush. I don't care what it says it's for. I'm going to use it for eyeshadow. It says it is for smoky liner, which I mean, hey, it's cruelty free, gluten free. How's a brush vegan? Aren't most brushes made out of not animal parts? So how is this vegan? Unlike others. Or did they just put it in there to try to trick people to buy it that care about that? I don't know. It's a dollar. That's how you get me. If it's cheap, I will at least think about it. Even if you do horrible things. You know, I mean, it's one of those things. Um, let's see. Got a little box here for storage. Something just broke. Oh, no! This pops back on now, so no biggie. But other stuff started falling, which is bad. Come back up here. A box, a little box fell. I have a lot of stuff on my table. I need, I need to straighten that out. But you know, little stuff to put stuff in. Maybe my lip rings. What just fell? I don't see it. Oh well. Um, I still don't know. I felt something fall. Oh, I see what fell. Excuse me. The dividers fell. Because they're only little skinny things. And I'm missing one. Oh well. I'll put them back in later. So, um, obviously, the dividers are removable, so that's, that's fine and dandy for those who don't want the smaller ones. So, you know, and it pops right back on, so good deal. Put that over there for now. Okay, what should I do next? This. It's a cheapo little watercolor set. Cost a dollar, so because Dollar Tree it has all these nice little colors, I'm going to try it. I don't know how well it will or will not turn out because I'm going to do something simple and stupid just to test them out because they're a dollar. Um, we don't have much left, but look, it is colored pencils. Well, it's mechanical pencils with color, color ink, colored lead in them, which is pretty cool, in my opinion. And they have erasers on them, I checked. So I'm assuming it can erase them. So, cool. In my opinion. It's latex free eraser. It's 0.9 millimeters vibrant lead for coloring and highlighting. I'm going to draw with them. You know, for the lulls. And then we've got grippers that I cannot find at Walmart anymore. 
this is the type of stuff I used in school. And like, normally you don't even see it at Dollar Tree. But they have it. It makes me so happy. I miss these, okay? Because these were the good ones. Well, maybe not literally this brand or anything, but this type. At least to me. I mean, everyone has their preferences. And then, we got the colored gel pens. My childhood is coming to life. Well, it's ballpoint pens, but whatever. It's colored. That's what really matters, and you know it. Colored. I love colored, different colored inks, because black, blue, and red are boring. But here's the most important part. Cow tails! Oh my god, I love cow tails. Like, in my town, there's one place to find them. I don't have a Dollar Tree yet. We're getting one. We are getting one. And oh my god, I'm so excited for it. But pretty much, you can find these at Dollar Tree and Fred's in the city I was in. And in my city, you can sometimes find them at Family Dollar. And that's it. That's all they're at. Though, I think the ones at Fred's have more cow tails in them. But I think they may cost more than a dollar. But yeah. Well, that's what I got at Dollar Tree. Hope you enjoyed seeing that, and I hope to see you next time, and I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye!